Welcome to Synagogues of Israel, part 41. This is our second look at the Jewish houses of worship in Tel Aviv. The first building here is Beit Knesset Moshev's Kenim. In English, that would be a synagogue for senior citizens, like in an old people's home. The Moshev's Kenim Association moved in this area in 1921. The synagogue was finally completed in the early 1930s. Today, the building is closed up, no longer used, but it is under the care of a guardian. As the sign reads on this building, this is Beit Daniel, or Beit Daniel. It is also a community center, and it is a progressive, or in America, would be called a reform congregation. There is apparently more than one Beit Daniel synagogue center in the country. It was established in 1991, and its senior rabbi is Meyer Azari. We've seen the name the Great Synagogue of North Tel Aviv associated with this building, but also on the building, on a sign to the left of the door front shown here, are words in Hebrew which read, Kolel Zecher Shlomo which means that it is also an adult education facility. There are also signs on the door indicating that there are courses taught in religious philosophy and observance. As is clearly written in both Hebrew and English, on the sign above the door, it reads in Hebrew, Ki Lat Sinai, in English, Sinai Congregation. It is a Masorti Congregation, in America, that will be considered conservative, egalitarian. Finally, for this episode, here is the OMO8 congregation. OMO8 in English could be considered the tent of meeting. Congregation has been around since at least the early 1930s. It is of Sephardic practice. We conclude our second look at the Jewish houses of worship in the Tel Aviv area of Israel. There's still a handful more of synagogues to check out in this location. So, bye for now, and see you real soon.